uh, I just played a game against the logic bot, and I really want to show you this because I got the weirdest brilliant move that I've ever seen in my life. So stick around, and don't worry, it's not at the end of the game, it's throughout the middle of it, but I'm going to show you the game. So it's e4, e5, pick four, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, so we're in the Italian. I'm pretty sure it's the Guicho Pianissimo. Uh, I played c3 to prepare d4. He played knight f6, and I played b4, which is a book move, but in my head during the game, since I don't have the evaluation bar, I thought this was a good move to kick out his bishop, which I did, and then a4. Uh, d3 was better to stabilize his center, but he does have to protect his bishop, but he doesn't. He plays d5, and it allows me to take, and since he took back with his knight, I can play a5, which isn't the best move, apparently. Apparently it's d5, and I don't know why. But he hung his bishop, because it's stuck, and I just took it. Uh, I didn't see anything wrong with taking the bishop. Apparently it's a miss. I should have castled instead. But then he played e4, and I wasn't really paying attention, if I'm going to be honest. But I castled, and it's a brilliant move. So if you can explain why this is a brilliant move, let me know in the comments below. But... He played h5, so I played rook e1, pinning the pawn to the king, so he can't take my knight. He castled, and I moved my knight to the center, which is a bad move, like a really bad move. I lost my advantage. It was 4.3, and I went to minus 0.9, which is ridiculous. Uh, he took, and I took back, doubling my pawns, and now the queenside pawns are isolated, and I can't do anything about it. Uh, he took my center pawn. I played queen b3. Now, in my head, I thought I was calculating this. And if he took my rook, then his queen was trapped when I played bishop b2. And that's what happened. That's really all I calculated. Queen b3, queen a1, and bishop b2. And then he took my bishop, just because it's a desperate he's going to lose his queen. And he played bishop e6. Took that, because I'm on material, I'm going to trade everything I can. And it just gives me a better winning advantage. And he took with the knight. Now, it would be better to fork me first and then probably taken with the pawn to open up his rook but I took the pawn on e4 with my rook and then he took my b6 pawn I think for ages I don't think how long it's been sitting there for but I played knight c3 uh, he played rook d8 which is not a good play rook f8 not a d8 but it's okay I played h3 which is the best move just a waiting move to avoid back rank checkmate as well he played c5 trying to unlevel his pawns and I played b5 to shut that down so he doesn't have undouble his pawns and now his double pawns are stuck and this is not a passed pawn because I still have my d pawn here so he it's not a passed pawn I don't know why it's saying I should have taken the knight but it's okay I'm still like heaps better anyways he played rook d e8 which is I don't understand he should put the f rook on e8 at least so he doesn't squish it okay I played knight d5 which is the best move he played g6 me to play this fork, but I didn't take the rook, which, because I thought there was a checkmate incoming, but then when I played knight h5, check, I realized that his knight on e6 defends g7, so I can't deliver checkmate, but he blocks with the knight, which is the best move. I sack my rook, which is the best move, that's, I, I've been calculating that for ages, I'm so glad there's no time limit on this, so I played rook d4, and he gave me a check before taking my rook, I don't know why it's to take the knight, but it's fine. Uh, I gave him a check. He pushes f pawn to block, and it's the best move. I took with my knight, which is the best move. He played rook e6, which is not the best move. I played knight back to g4 check. I was gonna go knight d7, but then my knight is further away from delivering checkmate because he can't move from the corner. So he played king g8, which is the best move. And then I played knight h6, and his only move is knight is not fourth. Then I played knight g4 again, but it was better to sack my knight because the rook is hanging after I give check, but I didn't see that, I wasn't paying attention, plus it's a 1500 bot. And this made an 11 now, as you can see, as he plays rook c8, which is the wrong, which is an inaccuracy, he should have played rook, C, rook f7 actually. But I played uh, the best move, queen d7 check. He blocked with the rook, which is not the best move. It gave me maiden 3 actually. The best move was king g8 to prevent it for another 8 or so moves. 
but I, I took his rook with check, he played king h8, and I played knight f6, and there's no way to stop checkmate. So, he played rook b8, just defending the b7 pawn, which he has to do, there's no other choice. And I played queen h7, checkmate. That, that brilliant move, honestly, I did not get it one bit. So, if you guys have any idea on why this is a brilliant move, be sure to let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and...